Shalom and welcome to this episode of Ask Aviel. My name is Aviel. You can ask me questions so that we can share, learn and grow together. Human beings have five senses. Today, I would like to share about the sense of smell and what the scriptures say about the nose. Genesis 2, 7 Then Adonai Elohim formed the man out of the dust from the ground and he breathed into his nostrils a breath of life. So, the man became a living being. Rashi or Rabbi Shlomo Yitzaki said that Adonai made Adam of both earthly and heavenly matter. The body was made of the earthly matter and the soul of the heavenly matter. Ibn Ezra said that he who breathes into the nostrils of another person gives into him something from his own soul. Ovadia ben Jacob's Forno said that God personally blew a life force or soul of life into man. Job 27, 3 As long as my breath is still in me, the Ruach of God in my nostrils. Job 32, 8 But there is a spirit in people, the breath of Shaddai that gives them understanding. Several places in Exodus and Leviticus talk about the smell of the burnt offerings and meal offerings on the bronze altar of sacrifice being like a pleasing aroma to the Lord. There was also an altar of incense built specifically to burn incense unto the Lord. Exodus 31 You are to make an altar of acacia wood for burning incense. Aaron must burn sweet spices of incense there every morning. Exodus 30, 34-35 Then the Lord said to Moses, Take fragrant spices, gum raisin, onica and galbanum, and pure frankincense, all in equal amounts, and make a fragrant blend of incense, the work of a perfumer. It is to be salted, and pure and sacred. Leviticus 16, 12 to 13. On the day of atonement, the high priest is to take a fire pan full of coals of fire from off the altar before Adonai, plus two handfuls of sweet powdered incense, and bring it within the curtain. Then he is to put the incense on the fire before Adonai so that the cloud of the incense may cover the atonement cover that is on the ark. Rashi said it was to raise smoke. Ibn Ezra said it was for the purpose of sending unto God. He also added that the samim or sweet spices were the most important ingredient in the preparation of the incense. In John 12.3 Mary took a pound of very expensive oil of pure nard and anointed Yeshua's feet, and she wiped his feet dry with her hair. Now the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. David Guzik says in the Enduring Word Commentary that Mary's gift was remarkably humble. When a guest entered the home, usually the guest's head was anointed with a dab of oil or perfume. Mary used this precious ointment and anointed the feet of Yeshua. She considered her precious ointment only good enough for his feet. Mary gave a remarkable gift to Messiah. It was not unusual to wash the feet of a guest with water. It was unusual to use very costly oil. It was great devotion on her part. Spices and ointments were expensive. Judas believed this oil was worth 300 denarii, which was a year's wages. The entire house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. It was Mary's extravagant action that caused the whole house to smell good. David Stern said that Mary's act of love towards the Messiah is valued by God precisely because it was unselfish. She anointed the body of Messiah and prepared his body for burial. 2 Corinthians 2.15 For we are the aroma of Messiah to God. 
David Stern explains that the good news is like a flower's fragrance. We who believe and proclaim the good news are the sweet aroma of Messiah who lives in us. If you smell this fragrance today, listen to the good news, respond to it. Don't be antagonistic or indifferent to this fragrance because it is the fragrance of life. Revelation 5.8 mentions golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the Kadoshim, God's people. Revelation 8.4 And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the Kadoshim rose before God. According to David Stern, this is a type of sweet-smelling savour, a bloodless offering to God. David Guzik says that the prayers of the saints are precious to God and he regards them as a sweet-smelling incense set in precious golden bowls. Just as incense is precious, pleasant and drifts into heaven, so are our prayers. The connection between prayer and incense is shown in Psalm 141 verse 2. May my prayer be set before you like incense. May the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. Incense has a pleasing aroma. It ascends to heaven and it needs fire added to it, symbolizing the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. The rabbis say that when the people pray, they are not praying all at the same time, but each assembly prays separately. First one, then another. So our prayers are like incense rising slowly up to God, who receives this pleasing aroma. Thank you for joining me. I pray that this message inspires and challenges you. God bless you and your family. Shalom.